A warm greeting. Today is Thursday, June 22, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. At the time of recording this video, it is 7 a.m. local time in the Lesser Antilles, where tropical storm bread is approaching. It is expected to arrive during the nighttime hours today or in the early hours of Friday. On the other hand, what was in Vest 93 has strengthened into tropical depression number 4 of the season. It is anticipated to become tropical storm Cindy as it moves northwestward. Another strong tropical wave is moving at a low latitude in the tropical Atlantic, but at the moment, it does not have probabilities of development. During this week, the train of tropical waves has been extremely active in the tropical Atlantic region, which is definitely atypical for the month of June. It is the first time in history that two cyclones have formed in the month of June in this Atlantic region. Some studies have shown that when cyclones form in this area so early in the season, it is correlated with a more active hurricane season than usual. At the moment, it seems that at least this area between the Caribbean and Africa will be very active during this year. Let's first talk about the updates on Tropical Storm Brett. Tropical Storm Brett is already approaching the Lesser Antilles. During the past night, a hurricane reconnaissance plane investigated the tropical storm and found that it had maximum sustained winds of 70 miles per hour. The tropical storm Brett has strengthened a little in the last 12 hours and was close to becoming a Category 1 hurricane. The wind shear is already starting to increase and will continue to increase in the next few hours as it reaches the waters of the Caribbean Sea. Therefore, tropical storm Brett is probably at its peak intensity at the moment. Also, the center of circulation remains displaced to the west and southwest of the area with the strongest thunderstorms and winds, and this is due to the wind shear. Fortunately, this is preventing tropical storm Brett from strengthening further before reaching the Caribbean. Thanks to the El Nino phenomenon, it will be facing wind shear. This may be the scenario that unfolds during the season, where we may see the development of several cyclones in this area. However, if they reach the Caribbean region, they will likely encounter strong wind shear. When we switch to the infrared satellite image, you can see that it still generates some strong thunderstorms, but they are displaced to the northeast of the circulation. The hurricane reconnaissance plane confirmed that this is the area where the winds of tropical storm force are maintained. In its path, passing over or very close to Santa Lucia and Martinique, the most active part of the winds and rain should stay north of the circulation, over Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, and Santa Lucia. The radar from the island of Barbados is already showing the cloudiness and rain associated with the outer bands of tropical storm Brett. In the latest images, we can also see that center of circulation moving westward. It is anticipated that the center will pass just north of Barbados and over or very close to Santa Lucia and Martinique. The weather conditions across these islands will continue to deteriorate in the next few hours. There have been no significant changes in the forecast. Currently, a tropical storm warning remains in effect for Dominica, Martinique, and Santa Lucia, along with a tropical storm watch for Barbados and San Vicente. Due to the strengthening it had during the past night, the island of Santa Lucia has issued a hurricane watch. However, judging by the satellite image, tropical storm bred is almost certainly at its peak intensity and will not become a hurricane before reaching the Caribbean. It is projected that the center of circulation will pass well south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, also distant from the north of Venezuela. Thanks to the wind shear and dry air, it is anticipated that the storm will begin to rapidly weaken and dissipate by Saturday afternoon when it is south of Haiti. For our followers in the region of Jamaica and Central America, don't worry because this cyclone will dissipate before reaching this area. Although it will bring rain to Honduras, Nicaragua, and El Salvador at the beginning of next week. Let's look at the forecast for wind gusts according to the GFS model. The GFS is predicting, like the National Hurricane Center, that the center of circulation will pass over or just north of the island of Santa Lucia, and the tropical storm winds would mostly remain to the north of the center. At the moment, it is anticipated that Santa Lucia and Martinique will experience gusts of wind between 65 to 70 miles per hour, and between Guadeloupe and Dominica, winds between 40 to 55 miles per hour. Also, as it moves over the waters of the Caribbean Sea, the tropical storm winds will be south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. The local effects in this area will be minimal. Rain is also an important factor. At least today, between 5 to 6 inches of rain are forecasted to affect the islands of Martinique and Santa Lucia. There is a high risk of flooding and landslides, so please take this into consideration when completing your preparations. Also, there is some moisture that may affect Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. However, it should not be anything out of the ordinary. Let's now talk a little about tropical depression number 4 of the season. As you can see in this visible satellite image, Invest 93 has strengthened into tropical depression number 4. Today, it is expected to become tropical storm Cindy. In this visible satellite image, 
we can see that the center of circulation remains exposed to the east of the area with strong thunderstorms. This indicates that this disturbance is being affected by wind shear from the east. The good news is that the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center maintains a mostly northwestward track in the coming days. It should also remain as a tropical storm, and the Caribbean region remains outside the cone of uncertainty. At the moment, there is no risk for the Caribbean region, although we will continue to monitor in case of any unexpected changes. In the long term, the future tropical storm Cindy may be of interest to the island of Bermuda. There is a high level of confidence in this forecast, unlike what happened with tropical storm bred in the past few days. As you can see, the track models have good consensus in maintaining that northwestward movement and passing far from the Caribbean region, although close enough for us to remain vigilant for any changes. Additionally, the intensity models agree on it remaining as a moderate tropical storm or weak tropical storm as it moves over the Atlantic waters. Well, that would be all for this morning's update. I hope our friends in the Lesser Antilles, especially between Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, and Santa Lucia, are ready to face this cyclone. Let's hope that the damage is minimal. In the afternoon or early evening, I will provide an update on this forecast with a new video. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Have an excellent day, everyone. Goodbye for now.